The Alter Rebbe, Schnur Zalman of Liadi, teaches that in Elul, Hamelech Basadei, the king is in the field. Normally, he says, the king lives in the capital city in a royal palace. And to see the king, one needs to petition secretaries and ministers, dress meticulously, follow specific codes of how to talk and how to act. But in Elul, the king is in the field. Anyone can approach. We come as we are. No dress up, no pretense. In Kohelet, which we'll read during Sukkot, we see another mention of a king in a field. Melech Lasadeh Ne'evad. Even the king is subject to the soil. We might imagine working in a field, our clothes covered in mud, and glimpsing next to us the Holy One pulling weeds. And while we work, tilling the soil and planting, we might chat like old friends with the intimacy you can only get from working shoulder to shoulder with someone on work that's worth doing. And as we pick apples next to Hashem, we talk about the blessings and the hardships of the last year, the babies who were born, the loved ones we lost. And there's an intimacy there. Our fingernails are dirty and our arms are aching. And you just can't find that closeness in the royal palace. Rabbi Nachman used to pray, Hashem, may it be my custom to go outdoors each day among all the growing things. There may I be alone and to enter into prayer, to talk with the one to whom I belong. Now I hope that all of us will have the chance to do some of that prayer during Elul. And while we're on the topic of coming together face to face outside of God's palace, I want to share with you all a new initiative that we're starting here at Shul, outside of the walls of New North London. On Rosh Hashanah, a group of volunteer shofar blowers will visit people who are at home and unable to come in person for services so that every member of NNLS is able to fulfill the mitzvah of hearing shofar. If you live in the area and would like a shofar blower to drop by, you can let us know by signing up using the form, which you'll find in your email or in the NNLS website. And if you're interested in volunteering to blow shofar, please get in touch directly with me. We'd love to have you, whether you're experienced or a total beginner. Wishing you all a sweet new year full of blessing and community. Shana Tova Umetuka. Thank you.